This is the power chord section. Um, I'm going to do five different songs, all illustrating power chords and the various techniques to make them sound like a rock song, basically. Now, the most important thing about power chords is once you've got them sounding good, so you're playing the three notes that you're pressing down and you're not playing the others. When you're, when you're on the A string, you, you don't want to hear the E string at all. And you don't want to hear those two down the bottom there. You just want to play the three that you've got. All right, okay. Blocking, which is what we're doing there. So basically, the power chord is there. When you're on the E string, you've got to rest your finger, but don't push down because you'll get a bar chord, a minor bar chord. You want to just rest your fingers over the three strings at the bottom that you don't want to hear. Okay, and then when you're on the A string, you drop down and you do the same thing. You've got only two strings now, but you want to block off that E string at the top with the very tip of your finger, not. Don't put your finger over it, just put it over the A string and then just touch the inside of the E string. Which means you, think you haven't got to worry about which strings, you haven't got to sit and look at the strings now. You can go... You can hit all the strings and that adds to the percussive sound. Okay, so that's strumming a power chord. Alright? Another thing with power chords, especially in rock music, is called palm music. The strings like we're doing, but you leave your karate chop bit, that bit there, of your palm, and it goes right on the, the bridge bone, which is either if it's an acoustic guitar, the white bit there, or whatever color it happens to be, or if it's an electric guitar, the, the bit of metal you've got individual string things where the strings go over that bit there. Basically, you put your hand over that, and then just, just inside it a little bit, but not too far because you won't get anything. You can hear it. You've got to cover all of the string, but for power chords you can just concentrate on those ones up the top. Okay, and that's what makes it rocky. Alright, so, you know, that's how you make it sound a lot better than just going...